Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to add Google Analytics tracking code to your Magento system. That's right, and it's really simple to do. And just to quickly recap before we dive in, in this tutorial, you're going to learn the following. Number one, where you can create a free Google Analytics account. And again, we're not going to hold your hand on that one. It's really straightforward. But crucially, Dave, number two, where you can find your Google Analytics ID. And I remember this one, it confused the living daylights out for me. And I'll show you a very quick way of finding it and where you can copy and paste it from. And then finally, how you can add this to your Magento system, which is copy and paste easy. So with that said, before we actually dive across to our Magento system and walk you through the steps, the first thing to note is that you'll need to go to google.com forward slash analytics. Now, the reason why you need to go there, you will need an analytics account. Just follow their steps through. You'll need to authorize the site, etc., etc. All very simple to do. And once you've been and done that, then you can follow on this tutorial. Or maybe you have it already. So with that said, let's get across to Google Analytics. Go and get our user account ID. And then that's what we're going to be pasting across into our Magento system. So with that said, we're going to catch up with you on our desktop in just a few moments time. So Dave, after we log in to Google Analytics, we're presented with a page like this. And you can see that I've got lots of sites in here, but there's only one which I'm interested in, which is the Understanding E1. And that'd be the same for you. Well, you may have lots or you may just have one. That's okay. Expand the folders out. And Dave, can you see this number here? UA hyphen and then some numbers and then hyphen a number? Yep. So rather than taking you the long way round, go like click into there, click on admin and then go into the JavaScript code and get it that way. There's a much easier way, which is that is the code which you're after. So I'm going to highlight that, right click and then choose copy. And that's the tracking number which we need to add to our Magento system. So that is very much the easier way of doing that. So let's go and add this to our Magento system. Dead easy to do. If we go across to our Magento admin and then go to system and then down to configuration. Now Dave, this is hiding down the left hand side. So if I scroll down our screen, what we're after is the section called Google API. And I think I've just been and gone past it. There it is, Google API underneath cells. There it is on the left hand side. And once we go in there, you'll want to change enable to yes. You'll want to change the type to Universal Analytics. Now, I'm not gonna cover the difference between Universal and Google Analytics. Basically, you'll want the Universal Analytics because that's the new version. Where you've got the account number, this is where you'll want to paste in your account number in there, that code which we just copied a few moments ago. And whether you anonymize the IP addresses is really up to you. We've got our set as no, and then go and click on Save Config in the top right hand corner. And Dave, it is simple as that. Nice, and Google Analytics is so useful, especially for an e-commerce site. So again, if you haven't got one, we would strongly recommend go and get one set up. Dead easy to do. And it's free, and you can just see an insight in there. Now, big tip for you, don't panic, is that if you come in here, set these details up, and you go back to your Google Analytics account, and there's no data in there. Don't panic, that is perfectly normal. Google Analytics lags by a good couple of hours, let's say a minimum of six hours. So if you've been and set those details up in here, don't panic if you go back to your Google Analytics account and don't see any updates or see any visits. And again, you know that you've been on your site and going around the pages. Don't panic, that is perfectly normal. Just go back to Google Analytics, say tomorrow or later tonight, depending on what time you're listening to this and the time of day. But don't panic, that's perfectly normal. Just go back and check on it tomorrow. And you should hopefully see lots of web stats in there so you'll be able to see what your customers are doing within your Magento site. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios.